Um, we have a good idea. I mean, we're not going to talk about it right now, but yeah, we have a good idea who we're who we're putting out there. And I mean, we're excited about the lineup. Excited about getting the season going. You you can only beat up on yourselves or each other for so long. So uh, it's great to uh, finally start the season. Is it is it more excitement than nerve wracking for you as a coach? Because you know, what is the emotions like the the, the day before a home opener? It, it's funny you say that because. You know, I still get nervous, still get butterflies after 20, whatever, three, four years of coaching. And um, it's exciting. It's nerve wracking, too, because nine of our 12 players will be newcomers. Nine of 12, we have two that are redshirting, so of the 14 on the team. So that's a lot. And that's a little bit scary. We're going to have to, you know, find our chemistry and who plays best together and in what situations. And, you know, it's going to take a while. But uh, I think this year we're quite a bit deeper. Um, last year we were pretty top heavy with the Sarah Cash and the, um, Allison Smolinski, Melinda Trimmer. Those guys played a lot of minutes from their first year, you know, to their senior year. So um, it's going to be tough to replace them, but I think, you know, our improved depth will really help that out. And I'm excited to see, uh, you know, how, how that plays out. Does that, does that help you as a coach? To, because last year, like Barry mentioned the depth too, you know, and rightfully so, you were very nervous about losing somebody to injury. Yeah. And this year, you probably don't have to be as concerned as maybe you were last year. Uh, yeah, there's no question. I mean, every practice, I was literally keeping my fingers crossed that nobody, and we would practice very short and, um, you know, just do as little as possible in terms of putting people in positions where they could get hurt. So I think there's a lot more competition this year in practice. We go, we really go at it a lot more, which helps everybody get better. And um, again, it'll be exciting to see, even from scrimmage one to scrimmage two, just saw a ton of improvement, a ton of learning, and I think it'll be the same way, you know, every game that we play. So how many players do you expect to play? Seven, eight, nine, or is it just depend on where you're at? Right now, it depends. Um, you know, I think how they play and how they perform will kind of dictate how, if they get time and how many get time. You know, I'm going to try to play as many as I can early to see how they do and go from there. So open competition? Basically, yeah. Yep. Coach, you mentioned uh, chemistry, which was you know, kind of the byword for last year's team. That was one of the first things that came up. Have you, I realize there are a lot more players, it's a different dynamic, but have you seen the ingredients for, for hooking up a team chemistry? I, I think they all get along very well on and off the court. Um, it's been great with, uh, like you said, an added number of players. Uh, you know, I think they really care about each other. I think they, you know, work hard for each other. And, you know, that usually ends up, you know, with good things on the court. What, what do you hope to see tomorrow, John? Uh, we're really looking to get better each and every day, each and every game. So I just want to see improvement from, you know, our last scrimmage. You know, I thought I saw a good deal of uh, improvement from our first scrimmage to our second. And then I just want to see the same thing from, you know, second scrimmage to game one and game one to game two. And hopefully, I mean, we have a tough non-conference schedule. It should prepare us well for conference season. Coach, you, you by score anyway, you blew Kenesha South last year. But both these teams are way different than they were a year ago. A lot of newcomers. So how do you even prepare? What do you expect? Well, you prepare <laughs> by just trying to get your kids doing what you want them to do on both ends of the, the court. Uh, you know, I think last year was, you know, their coach's first year. That's always tough. It's always a challenge. So he'll be more settled in. You know, the players will understand more of what he wants. And, you know, he'll have some players that he's recruited and got in there. So um, you're right. It's a completely different game. I mean, Allison Smolinski had, you know, one of the best games of her, if not the best game of her career, making nine threes. So um, we're going to have to manufacture some points from some other players in some other areas and hopefully we can uh, be stout defensively like we were last year. I mean everyone wants to get off to a good start and you mentioned your non-conference schedule. I mean out of those you know there's some pretty good competition here. It's a tough schedule. I was looking at it and yeah, there's no question. I mean, we, we would love to get off to a good start, but um, again, I think if we just keep showing improvement and, and getting better, uh, you know, I think that will bode well for the conference season. 
All right, guys. Thank you.